this is the transformer of 230 volt by 1202 volt 1.5 ampere and we will observe the behavior of the transformer applying dc supply if you love my video please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends let's switch on for supplying the dc power to the transformer i am going to use this laptop power adapter you can see the output voltage is 20 volt and 3.25 ampere dc now let's check the output voltage and you can see the output voltage is 20 volt approx these two are the input terminals of 230 volt and we will supply 20 volt dc across this and we will measure the output voltage across the two blue wire that means the secondary winding of the transformer the leads of the digital multimeter is connected with the output terminals and the center tap terminal is ignored now any one terminal of the primary winding is connected with the supply positive side and as we have no switch so we will just touch and detach the another terminal of the primary winding and whenever we touch the negative terminal you can see a huge amount of voltage is generated whenever we touch but you can observe whenever we constantly touch the terminal then no voltage is generated that means the voltmeter showing zero you can observe voltage is produced only when we touch and detach but why the transformer behaves like this let me explain graphically assume this is the transformer when we connect the input terminal of the transformer with 230 volt ac supply then an alternating current flows through the primary coil and creates an alternating flux according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever an alternating flux link with the secondary coil it produces an emf please note the keyword alternating flux and also keep in mind that only alternating flux can produce voltage let's assume there is an electric bulb of 6 ohm is connected with dc supply of 12 volt and a switch when we close the switch then 2 ampere current flows we can calculate this from ohm's law if we plot a graph between current and time you think it looks like this no you are wrong actually whenever we close the switch then at that instant current is not 2 ampere it starts from zero and reaches 2 ampere after certain millisecond time then after that time current flows 2 ampere constantly again whenever we open the switch then current is not instantly zero it takes a few millisecond time to reach zero value this phenomena is called transient now you can see transformer is connected with 20 volt dc supply and switch is open when we close the switch a direct current flows and as shown earlier the current takes few millisecond time to reach its maximum value due to this changing current from zero to maximum a changing flux is generated and that is shown in blue area and as said earlier we know that the changing flux is responsible for inducing an emf the emf is generated for that few millisecond time we can consider this as pulse voltage when this changing period is over a constant steady state current flows and the flux also steady state and there is no emf is induced now when the switch is opened then also the current takes few millisecond time to reach its value to zero then also the changing flux created and this changing flux is responsible for inducing an emf the amount of induced emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux with respect to time while using dc supply when we switch on 
and off then the produced rate of change of flux is more than ac supply so more voltage is induced in dc in dc supply the winding behaves like a low resistance and when we keep the dc supply on for few minutes a huge amount of current flows through the winding and more copper loss occurs and the core get heated when the dc supply kept for long time the amount of heat produced is more and more which can be the reason of winding insulation failure and the severe short circuit to avoid this danger the dc supply is not applied on transformer stay tuned with us joy hind joy bharat